three words given um, to three different people from March to August this year. Um, they both both mention that uh, the storm or destruction is coming and to be ready for it and that the Lord will also protect those that are faithful through it. Um, all right, so this one's Glinda Lomax from March 29th, 2018, Quiet Before the Storm. And the Lord gave me um, the Calm Before the Storm back in uh, March or April as well. Uh, I didn't make a video about it, but I did tell um, one of my YouTube subscribers. Okay. My children, as you walk through this time of quiet before the storm, I am maturing you. I'm talking, I'm sorry, I'm taking you through a maturing process to better prepare you to handle all that is coming your way. Many of you depend on family members for much, and those family members are going to be taken from the earth soon. You will need this maturity to go on. The world around you will change so drastically and so quickly that you will think surely you cannot survive it. But many of you will survive and go on to be martyrs for my name's sake. You will go on to witness to those who do not know me who are left. You will go on to help others for a short time while be, um, before I bring you home to me. Be assured, my precious ones, that I have gone ahead to prepare a place for you. And if I prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that you may be there with me. Keep your pers perspective on the eternal things you are accomplishing, for you shall be greatly rewarded for all you endure if you keep your faith to the end. John 14, 1 through 3, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Matthew 24, 13, 14. But he said, he that it shall endure it to the end shall be the same shall be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew sixteen twenty five twenty seven. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with, the, with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Um, prepare, these are my final warnings by Victoria Eng, 815.18. While in the early morning prayer I saw a vision with the word prepare, then received this word from the Lord. <clears throat> sound the alarm, sound the alarm, sound the alarm. For the tides are turning, and more devastation like you have never seen is coming. The sleeping will rise from their slumber and will wake in their cries of desperation as pain and sadness fill their lives. I've sent warning after warning after warning, and the time has come for my plan to be fulfilled. As I keep my word that I have given all to, be, to read, yet they have chosen other things from this world. Much suffering and pain is coming in abundance. For it is only through vast devastation can hardened hearts turn to me in repentance. When they have lost all things of this world, then and only then will they turn to me. So much turbulence will come to stir up my sleeping children. Hold steadfast. Your anchor will only be in me, for my love will never fail you. The time has come, my children, when my words that I have given to my faithful will come to pass. Your only hope comes from calling upon the name of Jesus. Jesus, a father that so loves you all, yet the multitudes have been blinded to know that to be true. I'm sorry, yet the multitudes have been blinded to know that to be true. I'm coming for my faithful, those that abide in me and my word. I hold the keys to my kingdom, and I have welcomed all, but so very few chose to come into my house of safety. Hold steadfast, children, as you are about to see things unravel like never before. The door is ready to be closed tightly to my ark of safety, and soon you will see all that I have worn come upon this earth. I love you, children. These are my final warnings. Yeshua HaMashiach, Isaiah 24.
and I've shared this chapter before with other words and dreams. Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste, distorts its surface, and scatters abroad its inhabitants, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with the, his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the creditor, so with the debtor. The land shall be entirely emptied and utterly plundered, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourns and fades away, the world languishes and fades away, the haughty people of the earth languish, the earth is also defiled under its inhabitants, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, therefore the curse has devoured the earth, and those who dwell in it are desolate, therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men are left, the new wine fails, the, the vine languishes, and the merry heart parted sigh, the mirth of the tambourine ceases, the noise of the jubilant ends, the joy of the harp ceases, they shall not drink wine with a song, strong drink is bitter to those who drink it, the city of confusion is broken down, every house is shut up so that none may go in, there is a cry for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city, desolation is left, and the gate is stricken with destruction. When it shall be thus in the midst of the land among the people, it shall be like the shaking of an olive tree, like the gleaning of grapes when the vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Therefore glorify the Lord in the dawning light. The name of the Lord God of Israel is in the coastlands of the sea, from the ends of the earth, we have heard songs, glory to the righteous. But I said, I am ruined, ruined, woe to me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Indeed, the treacherous dealer, dealers have dealt very treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon you, O inhabitants of the earth. And it shall be that he who flees from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he who comes up from the midst of the pit shall be caught in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth are shaken. <clears throat> the earth is violently broken, the earth is split open, the earth is shaken exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall totter like a hut. Its transgression shall be heavy upon it, and it will fall, and not rise again. It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will punish on high the host of exalted ones, and the earth of, of the and the on the earth the kings of the earth, they will be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and will be shut up in the prison. After many days they will be punished. Then the moon will be disgraced and the sun ashamed. For the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his elders gloriously. Um, Floodgates of Destruction, Elizabeth Marie, from August 27, 2018. I had a vision and message that I would like to share. Please use discernment and seek your own confirmation. On the 6th of August, while praying, I had a flash vision in my mind of Trump. I saw him with all his might and force holding back a big square wall that seemed to be a dam. I could tell he was holding back the flood of water that was on the other side. I saw water pouring in both sides of the wall, but nothing coming from the top. I then prayed a little more and then saw the same wall being held up by, by Trump but this time, there were many other people with him holding up this wall. They were trying to prevent the flood from overtaking them and division. I then asked the Lord this. Trump is beloved by Israel and so hated in the U.S. What does this mean? I heard this message. Trump was raised up for a time for Israel to get themselves in position prophetically. He is holding back the wall of destruction. Once he is removed, the floods will come and overtake the U.S. and the world. This flood is a flood of evil and destruction. Woe to those who will be caught and snared by its water of deception. It will wash away the just <clears throat> and the unjust for those who have not prepared. The bells are sounding, the trumpet blaring. Get prepared, get prepared, get prepared. The warnings have gone forth. Take heed and act on them, my children. I give them for you. Repent of all your sins. Fall down on your face. Prostrate to me. Humble yourself so that I may lift you up in due time. Do, do you not know... The creator of the world is on your side. I will be for you who can be against you. I will hear the cries of my people and will rescue them in their time of need. Be counted worthy to escape all that is coming. I will hide my remnant under the shadows of my wings. They will go to safe places that I have created. They will be safe there for time, times, and a half time. Rejoice 
for I'm coming soon. Declare my kingdom come all around. Be my witnesses to all the earth. You are called for such a time as this. Your beloved Yeshua. 1 Peter 5, 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. And Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Now, I just want to point out that once he's removed, sorry, that's one of the, that's the husky. She never barks, but when she sleeps, she, she makes noises when she sleeps. And that's the husky dog. All right, so um, it doesn't mean when he leaves office, because like, other people have prophesied that he's, you know, going to be removed before that or assassinated or I don't know because the Lord hasn't spoke to me about that but it doesn't mean the end of his presidency like four years could be before that I just want to just point that out then on August 8th 2018 I received this message while praying when Trump is no longer then the floodgates of persecution will roll in that is the floodgates that he is holding back. I give my people more time to prepare for what is coming. Get your houses in order. Move if you hear my still small voice prompting you. This is the year of preparation, like the 2018 message that was given to you. Why do so many of my people only read my warnings and prophecies but do nothing? They will be held accountable for what they know but did not act upon. My watchmen are blowing the trumpets, many here, but few take to heart the warning. I have a few faithful servants that have listened and obeyed. They will be blessed as they hide themselves under the cleft of the rock. Jump, my people, into my arms. Make the leap of faith. Whatever is holding you back, hindering you, I will cut off if you ask me to. The delays are not delays at all, but my perfect timing for all things to come in, um, into alignment. Many long for disasters and judgments to come, but I say to you instead to pray for mercy and love. Have compassion even on the wicked ones around you, because many will change as Saul turned to, into Paul on, on, on of my greatest one, one of my greatest disciples. Long for a great harvest to come and a great awakening to fall upon the people. This is where your heart needs to be, not longing for the judgment of the wicked. There are many that still need to come into my kingdom. Call out to me now, and I will hear your loving Messiah, Jesus. When I say to a wicked person, you, shall, you will surely die, and you do not warn them or speak out to dissuade them from their evil ways in order to save their life, that wicked person will die for their sin, and I will hold you accountable for their blood. Ezekiel 3.18 3, Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field Matthew 9 38 because there's also the verse that the harvest is right ready but the labors are few so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him Isaiah 59 19 God bless